Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about favors, like doing favors for other people. And I want to talk about both offering favors and how to ask for them, and some things to think about to make all of this work better in general. I've seen examples of someone asking me for a favor in a way that worked really great for me, and I've also had it work out where it didn't work so great. And I think one of the biggest things in asking for favors is that we know the things that we want in life, and the things that are easier for us, and the things that are harder for us, we know that better than other people do. And similarly, other people know themselves better than we do, and they know their own constraints and strengths and weaknesses. And this is relevant, this often comes out when asking for favors. And I want to give some examples. One of the types of favors that people frequently ask me for is giving them a ride. And I've had instances where people ask me for a ride, and it is really great, and I actually am glad that they asked. Like one example, say I'm driving to an event that's like an hour away, it's a fairly long ride, it might be a little bit boring, and someone who I really like spending time with asks me, hey, can you give me a ride to this event? I want to go too. Well, this is great, because now I get to spend time with that person, and I get to enjoy their company, and it would have otherwise been a boring and kind of lonely ride by myself. On the other hand, sometimes people ask me for rides in ways that aren't really convenient. So, for example, someone's like, hey, can you give me a ride to this thing? And it's something where I'm not going there anyway, and it's during a time of the day when I would rather either be at home doing work, or at home resting, or maybe it's kind of too close to some other event that I'm having to do, so it's imposing on me a little bit. And maybe I could do it if they really needed it, but it's more of an imposition. I think what makes asking for and offering favors work really well is when there is better communication about this sort of thing. So, for example, when someone asks me, I think it's important for me to let the person know how big of a deal it is. Like, if the person's like, oh, am I imposing on you? First of all, that's a great thing to ask. Is this too much to ask of you? Am I asking a lot of you? So the person asked me that, and then I respond, no, 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 like, this is not a big deal at all, I actually would really love to have you come along, like, there's no imposition at all. In another circumstance, I might be like, well, actually, yeah, it's a really busy day that day, and it would be a little bit inconvenient, but let me know if you, if you really need this, I still could do it if you really need it, but maybe ask someone else first. Because here's the thing, if the other person has other people they can ask, it's going to be more efficient for society as a whole if they can instead locate someone else who would rather do the favor for them. There might be another person for whom it would be the other way around. They would ask the person, and the person would actually be really gung-ho about doing it. So this is, I think, a really important thing. There's one last thing that I want to talk about, which is laying the groundwork for these sorts of favors to happen more naturally, by talking with people in your life about the resources that are scarce for you, and the resources that you have in abundance. So for example, there have been some times in my life where I'm really short on time, and there are other times in my life where I have a lot of free time, and I really want to be spending more time with people. And that's really going to affect the types of favors I would like to do for other people. So for example, right now, I have abundant tomatoes, and I really want to give all of them away. So I'm constantly telling my friends, hey, do you need tomatoes? I have a lot of tomatoes, I can bring some tomatoes when I come to your house, do you want to come over to my garden and gather tomatoes? I let people know what I have to offer. And you can do this too. You can say, hey, every week I'm driving to this event, and I'd love to have someone to drive with me if you want to go to it too. So you can offer these sorts of things up. And I find that this is a really good thing. Like, think about what you have to offer, and just offer it to other people. And I think by doing that, you'll help other people 
learn what types of things you like to offer, what resources are abundant in your life. And I think that can help other people know when to ask you for a favor and maybe when not to. It's also no secret that I don't really like driving, so with the exception of those times when I am already going to an event, I don't really like giving people rides. It's just, I'd rather spend less time in my car. And not everyone's like that. There's some people who really love just going for a ride in the car, and they might be really glad to just get out, do something like that with someone. So yeah, get to know your friends better, get to know your acquaintances better, and share this stuff with them. I think it, it, it just makes things work a lot more smoothly. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.